guys so if you do want to check what i'm using out then just check the description below because i do that in all of my videos so it's just so much easier for you guys to click away um and all i'm going to do is pop a little amount onto my brush and then i'm going to pop that where i put my concealer so as you can see i literally applied it just where my concealer is so i haven't applied it anywhere else i did apply it a bit up here but i applied my concealer there so literally i've just applied powder where i put my concealer so as you can like so the rest of my face is still quite dewy so what i'm going to do is use this la girl pro concealer i think this is in the shade beautiful bronze um, and I'm going to cream contour for once. I haven't done this in so long, but I thought I may as well. I haven't done it in a while and it's quite fun. I find when you push them out, they go quite oily. I don't know if that's just me. Let's see if we can see. So what I like to do is use the back of my hand as like a palette, pop the product that I've squeezed out, and then all you do is mix it together because you don't want to apply it onto your face with the oily bits on and nah. Squeeze it out and then mix it together at the back of your hand. Mine is so watery. I don't know if it's water or oil or I don't have a clue. And then after that, I'm just going to cream contour. And then what I'm going to do is use this dab beauty blender and just blend that in. gonna go back in with my concealer and just sharpen up underneath my contour. And then after that, what I'm gonna do is make it a bit lighter. So I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just go over where I contoured. What I'm gonna do is grab my NYX contour kit. I know I'm putting so much makeup on my face right now, but it's fine it's fun <laughs> so i'm just gonna mix these two end shades together blow it off i'm using the sigma f23 brush and then i'm just gonna go over the contour the contour i'm gonna use the actual brow bit so this has got two ends this is sort of like a felt tip and then this is like the pencil um so this is actually good to soften them out afterwards so you can use that afterwards but i'm just going to go straight with this and all i'm going to do is hair like strokes on my brows and then fill in the areas that haven't got much hair which is basically most of my eyebrows <laughs> and then what i'm going to do is get the maybelline concealer that i was using before and then i'm going to go underneath my eyebrow and this is just going to help sharpen my eyebrow up. And then you can drag the concealer downwards and then you're also priming your eyelids as well. So you're literally doing two things at once. Right, now my eyebrows are done. They, I don't know, they don't look matching at all, but oh well. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go in with the Stay Matte Rimmel Powder. I'm going to focus it around the Revolution Ultra Eyeshadows. This is the Professional Eyeshadow Flawless. I think this is the palette, the ultra one. So it looks like this. I don't know if you can see, but it's really, really shimmery. First of all, I'm just gonna grab the first shade here. It normally does come with a sheet that has all the names on it, but of course I lost it. So we're just gonna have to go with what I point at. First of all, we're just gonna pop this everywhere on our eyelids. Then I'm gonna go in with a buffing brush. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use this shade here, the one straight underneath it, as a transition. So I'm going to focus this on top of my crease and then blending that colour upwards. And then what I'm going to do is get an angle blending brush and just blend that colour. And then what I'm going to do with the same brush is grab this shade here, this one, um, and I'm going to pop that on my crease a tiny bit on top but I'm going to leave a tiny bit of this colour as well so I'm not going to drag it all the way up but you'll see what I mean. <laughs> Don't be scared of going really thick on your lower lash line like it's fine we're doing this look really dramatic so 
just do it as 